Portuguese. Cuba is looking green as we fly over Matanzas. At Kawama, they gave us this shitty room number 602 for the next two weeks. My first meal at Grand Canal a la carte is a pork chop. It's pretty tasty. And they call this creme brulee. Flan is pretty much the same thing. You might think that it might be nice walking along a beach like this for miles and miles and miles and you might be right these boys have got their own beach bar here I'm out in the water just to give you an idea of the incredible clarity the waters here and view of the rooms right along the beach Here is a map of the grounds of Kawama with the room numbers on it to uh, give you an idea where things can be found. Last night after dinner I came to the lobby bar and started drinking mojitos. But today I came for a swim. There's building 16, washrooms, showers, just through there, they're rebuilding building 26 and there's a small pool. And next to that, uh, you'll see the entertainment area. On the right side of the entertainment area, there is where you can get a beach towel and exchange it. Little courtyard. This is the 24-hour beer bar in front of us. And then I came over here and had a few beer after closing the lobby bar. And I don't know what time I got back to my room, but it was not early. And I'm paying for it today. There's a couple of little shops right there for tourist gifts to take home and another shower there. Uh, past that's a kitty play area. Through that opening is uh, where you can get a massage for a very reasonable price. I think it's about $25 an hour. And they also have a nurse's station and uh, exercise equipment in there. Here's the original building from Kawama's beginning 93 years ago, building number two. And the circuit uh, back to building number one. And the main entrance lobby, this is the back where the lobby bar is. After 2.30 in El Rosalino restaurant, you can get a hamburger. I wish you could get one a little earlier at lunchtime, but it looks good. And this was a nice spot to sit and eat that hamburger.
El Risolino Italian restaurants right on the corner and below that is the beach bar there's a pathway to the beach not a lot of beach here because it's been the windiest uh, last few days I've ever experienced in 26 visits and uh, yet it is gorgeous here I brought some friends that like to make fun of it but it's a Cuban owned three star it is what it is me and three friends are here for 15 days out of Toronto for a thousand and thirty eight dollars and anybody that finds a problem with that is poor at math Janya, Janya, Janya. She uh, let me put all of this on my pizza. And it's very good. The, the soup is good. And the chicken, pork, beans, rice. That looks good too. I brought a few things of my own, like the olives and parmesan, and I uh, had them cook it beside that uh, pork. In that case, shrimp, but it's all good. I'm on the second floor of building 23, overlooking the canal. Santa Marta water tower will go into room 2311 coming in on the right it's a washroom closet safe on into the Shower, tub, and toilet. Window looking out to the west. Not too far through there's the main lobby and pool. This is the room, 2311, standard room, air conditioner. window, a couple of beds, on the floor here you can see the refrigerator, we're looking out towards more buildings, and this is a standard room at Hotel Kawama. After six o'clock, night is coming. To the lobby bar, my friend uh, bought two lobster when he was downtown today for a thousand pesos. So they cooked it up for us at uh, Grand Canal Restaurant at. El Rissolino. That should go with his uh, pork chop and uh, my beef. I uh, grabbed my friend's room key and came back and grabbed some Caesar they had mixed up from our dry mix. We bought at Canadian Tire in Canada and brought with us. 
mix with water and make our own Caesars. They had it remade and in their cooler. And so I took the room key and I'm sitting here in the room drinking Caesars in 501. I had this room last year when I was with them. They were last year, they were over there in 401. That's the downstairs room. But it's a nice area of the resort. It's quiet at this end and an ocean view. Don't get too tired walking to the beach and jumping in the ocean. It is warm and lovely. A little after two and after starting out on Caesars and switching to beer and not eating today, I thought I'll just make a quick stop at the buffet and find something to soak that up with. This is building 21, a lot of character, very interesting patio on the far side, building 20 through there, there's the north side of building 16, the two story, building 17's in front of it, through that way is the main pool, looking straight ahead is building number two, the original rooms of Kawama. There's the back of the entertainment area and the coffee shop. Building 11 and building 12 right on the beach. And this is the small pool located uh, west of building 26 which is being renovated these days. Not exactly a sunny day, but just east of building 45 on the Kawama Beach is this idyllic tropical setting that you could have all to yourself. I could put this on a loop and play her for 24 hours, not get tired of it. Little exercise time in the pool. Not for me. No. That was Perucho, he's great, the music's great. Madai and Janai right there and a group of repeaters that uh, have been here many times over several years some of us more than others And it, we're having fun at this table. And that's a pretty dish at the repeaters dinner. Chicken and beef under it. Time for dessert. We couldn't eat all the lobster that we 
had bought on the street, had them cook at El Rissolino, so I saved a few ounces and have cut it up and along with some things I brought from home, made a lobster salad for lunch. I'd say that looks like lunch and supper put together. And I'm about to put some dressing on it and have it with my beer while I watch the waves roll in. I've walked over to the Santa Marta Market on uh, Saturday because they do have cucumbers, which I was unable to find at uh, the hotel this morning because I've brought everything with me to make my own Greek salad except for cucumber. After a lot of walking today, I tried to get my crew together to make us all a Greek salad, but can't find them now. So I guess I'll have to eat by myself. But I came into the pizza place at lunchtime and they're cooking pizza, but I think I'll be full. A little bit of the evening at Kawama. December 18th, just after 8, I'm in the buffet having a coffee, which I have uh, brought my own instant French vanilla and mixed it with their hot water. That's also a bag of uh, whole milk I brought as a gift, but I'm using some of it to uh, have better coffee than they have in the buffet. People at a three star mix more and have more fun. It may not be for everybody, but there's a lot of different ways we can have fun. Looking towards the west at Kawama. Buildings along the beach are open right down to building 45 and 44. They're a bit of a hike, but there's a couple of beautiful rooms there. I'm at the end of day 10, still enjoying the beach and the water and the staff. at Kawama Monday afternoon and we moved into our room there's our television set haven't had it on yet it's Wednesday now there's some of the trays that I brought from home and with that I put in the freezer here our food you got one of the trays in there I filled with water to make my own ice got some lettuce on the left uh, that feta cheese has got butter in it that I brought and real feta underneath of that and a bunch of uh, colored peppers, uh, all kinds of cheese. And there's some more cheese and salad dressings and all is in the fridge. And uh, air conditioner's working, nice and cool in here couple of beds. I'm here on this trip with uh, three neighbors from 
Newport Bruce where I, I live and uh, there's our washroom shower and mirrored door closet sink in the mirror never enough hangers so I pack a few of them when I come here and it may not be the top-notch resort but when you can get a room on the beach with a view like this everything else is all right Kawama is a type of turtle that used to swim up and uh, lay the eggs on the beach here in uh, Veradero and so they made a piece of a loaf of bread in the shape of a turtle. Good idea. <laughs> Little variety. Odell, the bartender in the Kawama Beach Bar, told me that they were renovating the beach bar. It'll be nice, he said. But they've just put down a new uh, tile floor here. It is an improvement. It's right next to the stairs below the El Risolino restaurant. Of course, that's right next to the buffet. And that is next to the beach toys here. And this beautiful sand beach that Veradero is world famous for. Daryl. I planted that tree 11 years ago, that coconut. I'm in 304. There's their uh, tub, toilet, sink. In the room. A couple of beds here. Refrigerator, freezer, closet, safe. Air conditioner. It's cool in here. I am at the uh, Kawama bar with great employees. Osmel is a smart and nice man. Juja on the right there has been here for many years. She's in one of my 2012 videos and they are serving this crew repeaters all. This crew is repeaters all. The buffet has been open for a little while, but it's pretty slow at uh, Kawama in early December. You want to come in, find yourself a table, leave something at the table, grab a plate, and then go around the entire buffet and see if there's anything that looks appealing to you. You never know. Looks like a big thing of honey in the middle of a bunch of crackers. Times are tough in Cuba these days. I don't go to Cuba for the food in the first place, but uh, these are various 
toppings that he can mix with your uh, omelet. Mushrooms and grated cheese, grated vegetables. And he'll whip you up an omelet and cook it here. A lot of people will bring ham slices from uh, another section and then uh, give you uh, an option of adding that onto the grill. Here we have some fruit juices and some uh, smoothie mixed up, a few various desserts add to your breakfast looks like we've got a little bit of sugar sprinkled on top of some of these pastries now as mentioned it's not particularly busy at the moment there's Elio on the left and uh, he's cooked up some pancakes here as I mentioned there's some plates there uh, a little bit of uh, honey here to throw on there Looks like some sort of cooked pastries, beans and meat mix, cabbage in the steam table, and looks like more cabbage but less cooked, and and uh, mushrooms on top of more cabbage. As mentioned, here's some various ham slices, cheese slices. Ketchup, mustard, Clacy is, uh, Clacy's is at the fruit station and cutting up uh, grapefruit and papaya, pineapple, guava and uh, some of the fresher fruits here and a big smile from Clacy's. Over at this steam table, we have uh, hard-boiled eggs, scrambled eggs, some giant peas or beans, uh, poached eggs, more of that cabbage with mushrooms on top. They look like nice mushrooms. Some squash, beans, cabbage, another stack of plates. As mentioned, it is... Uh, quiet here at 8 o'clock in the morning. People will grab uh, some of this bread, slice it up, and run it through that toaster there, and uh, maybe grab a coffee and take it back to their table. come into the buffet at lunchtime to catch the fresh presentation. Look at those palm tree sticks in their fresh buns. And uh, I think that seal of approval right there. Along, there goes Eric. And here's a steam table. It looks like there's some uh, battered fish, uh, peas, vegetables, Looks like uh, the far end's got some rice and black beans. Uh, that uh, soupy sauce uh, is something I've seen a lot of people will add to their rice mixture. And uh, I'm not sure what's in the middle of fried uh, mushrooms or something. But uh, I don't expect that to last long. In the middle, this gentleman has uh, got some hamburgers and uh, 
beef, is it? Okay, you've got some beef uh, and liver. Oh, liver. Ah, the, one of my uh, friends has been here and said that he really did enjoy the liver. Here we have a seafood paella on this steamed table. And there's Renier again. Haven't seen him in a while. He was uh, the uh, omelet chef uh, when I was here in February. And uh, this table looks like some maybe cabbage. I'm not sure if the fruit uh, cooked cabbage. Obviously, the shrimp uh, look like a good size. And uh, is that a vegetable? Vegetable? Malanga tapo. Okay. And a couple of soups on the grill. Elio is cooking up some chicken. Look at that. And he's got some pork over there he's showing me. So uh, people complain about the food at a three star, but people complain about the food at a five star. Here's some meat and cheese slices. Little sauerkraut maybe a couple of them and those are like dough balls someone told me there's some uh, simple sandwiches in the sunny southern section of the restaurant and here we have a couple of uh, ice cream choices Some desserts. Avita, I've seen her working on the pastries, putting the icing on them. She's been in Kawama for many years. Some very colorful dessert selections. And around to this table, we are looking at uh, some cut fruit. Some fruit and a couple of uh, juice blends. All kinds of fruit. Clacy's was just tidying up the presentation of those balls and looks like maybe that looks a little like a potato salad at the back left. And uh, some shrimp and some cabbage and lettuce there. Lots of cabbage mixed with everything in uh, Cuban three star. I like the squash and peas. There's a mystery mix there, peas and beans. Meat of some type, hamburger maybe, bologna. Quite an odd mixture. And here we have a mixture of fruit at the front of this table. And uh, it's like a little crowded. But they do have some diced, grated uh, carrot, tomato, lettuce, grated cabbage. There's uh, quite a bit of onion in that one. Here we have tomatoes and... I know it's from YouTube. We watched his videos before we came. Yes, and uh, more of the same of what was on uh, the other section. So I better go grab some of this.